Hi, I'm Sandra Hawkins, and I want to show you how to overcome two problems that you might get if you're connecting from Java to SQL Server. The first one is TCP not being enabled, and the second one is the driver not having authentication. So firstly, I'm going to show you me getting these problems. So I have a connection string and an up. I'm trying to connect to the database. I've covered this in, in the previous video, so I'm just going to hit run here. When you run your program, I have a printout here to say connection established. And if I don't get that printed out straight away, see my program's still running, I know that there's something wrong. So it's just a matter of waiting until we get the, the stack trace. So I'm going to get my error connected to the database. And the stack trace, which as you will see now, it will give more information about what the problem is. So I'm just going to scroll to the top here. And it says the TCP IP connection to the host, that's my SQL Server and the port has failed. So it's basically saying this is socket closed. So to correct the problem on this, you're going to need to open SQL Server Configuration Manager. So find that on your machine and open that up. In there, you want to go into SQL Server Network Configuration and click on the protocols for SQL Server. You see in here, the TCP IP is disabled. So what I need to do is right click on that or I can double click on it and enable. Enabled, yes. And one other thing while you're in here to check for is IP addresses. Just scroll down and see the TCP port is 1433. That is the port that um, SQL Server opens for the likes of Java to speak to. So just click OK on that. Now what you'll need to do is just to it is enabled now, but the changes won't take effect until I restart SQL Server. So on the SQL Server services, see here at the top, you've got your SQL Server, it's running. You can right click on that and restart. So it needs to stop the service first and then restart it again. Okay, so that's done. Back to my program and I'm going to hit run again. Again, I can see I really love that connection established straight away, but that hasn't happened. So here is another problem. Another problem coming up. So again, wait till you get it. And I'm going to read the stack trace. So back to the top. The driver is not configured for integrated authentication. And if I scroll down a little bit, it says why it's caused by this exception here. No MSSQL, JDBC authentication. Okay, that is actually a file, a DLL file that it can't find. And it's looking in this path here. See program files, Java, JDK, bin. And again, if you scroll along, there's a whole list of a path that it searches for every single one of them for any, any DLLs or files that it needs. So what I'm going to do is show you where to find this file that it's missing. And I'm going to put it into that C program files, Java, JDK, bin, the binary folder. I'm going to put it in there. So when you downloaded the SQL Server driver from Microsoft, I have mine in um, my downloads folder. When you downloaded that and just go in here to ENU, if you go into that auth as an authentication folder and x64, that is the file that it's complaining about, that DLL. It can't find that. So what I'm going to do is take a copy of that. Copy. And I'm going into one of the paths that it does look in, which is C, Program Files, Java, JDK, into the bin folder. I'm going to paste it in there and continue and that has gone in there down on the bottom and now back to eclipse and hit run again and now you can see how quickly that that came up there that the connection was established so that was two problems firstly tcp ip wasn't enabled so that uh, my java program could get through into sql server through the port and secondly a dll that did come downloaded with um, the driver just wasn't in the correct location and I've moved that into a path where that where Java looks for it. Okay, so that's that. In my next video I'll show you how to 
connect to show you how to create this learner's database and what's needed for that and then the video after that i'll show you how to insert into the learner database and read from that database